Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Jay's Beer Review. We are dead smack middle of the dog days of summer. So what do people traditionally do in the summer? Well, why not go to the drive-ins? And today at the drive-ins, we are going to be seeing the final installment of the Harry Potter film. So I figured, since we're here seeing the Harry Potter film, why not make our very own butter beer? And that's exactly what I'm doing today. In Orlando, Florida, at the Universal Studios Islands of Adventures, they have a whole area dedicated to Harry Potter. And they actually make butter beer right there. And maybe next time I get down there, I get the opportunity to try it. I'll actually do a review of the official butter beer. But this is my own home recipe of the butter beer that they create. Now I found this recipe online and I have had it before and I thought it was pretty good. Now I don't know how it tastes in comparison to the butter beer they make down at the theme park, but I did like it. It looked pretty authentic. So now today, while at the drive-ins watching a movie, I figured I'd share it with you and do a little uh, sh showing of how you make Harry Potter butter beer. Uh, to start with, it requires a bottle of IBC cream soda. You're gonna need vanilla extract, heavy cream, powdered sugar, and regular granite sugar. And that's the ingredients you're gonna need to make your very own butter beer. So with that said, we're gonna go ahead and try to make our very own butter beer. First off, we're gonna need a third of a cup of heavy cream. And I forgot to bring a measuring cup. So I'm just gonna try to do this by eye, I guess. All right, that's the guess. The next part is I need two tablespoons of sugar. And since we are doing two cups, I actually need double that, which also means I need double the heavy cream. So I guess I'm just gonna use this whole thing. One, two, three, four. And I need two tablespoons of powdered sugar. I need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Two. Okay. The only part we don't know is if I used enough cream, heavy cream or not. Now we're gonna whisk it all. All right, I think that's a pretty good consistency. Finally, we're going to open the beers with the cream soda, pour it into the glass. Ah. Oh, they're twist offs anyway. And the final step is we add this confectionery, contra whatever you call this, mixture. We just add with each tablespoon, teaspoon into the cup to the desired foam level. So that is the last part, so here we go. You're supposed to give it about 20 30 seconds to let it all settle, and then there you go. You have yourself 
butter beer. All right, now that we've let this settle, we have the butter beer. Now the ultimate test to see if it tastes any good whatsoever. You know what? It tastes like a really creamy or sugary or buttery cream soda, to be honest. Not bad, definitely not bad. I love this one day try to see what it tastes like at the Universal Studios uh, Islands of Adventure Harry Potter Land to compare mine to theirs. Cheers. All right, well, we're getting ready to watch the movie. It's about 10 minutes before it's show showtime, and I'm about halfway done with my butter beer. Now you can really see how the uh, separation of the cream on the top and the the soda on the bottom and uh, overall you know what it's a pretty tasty uh, beverage it's a very sweet beverage though um, I'm not a person who loves sweet substances but for a once in a while special occasion this could serve its purpose and tonight's a perfect occasion for it getting ready to watch the final installment of Harry Potter having our butter beer cheers <laughs>